going on people all right so we coming outside we're going to do a quick check on the garden just got in from work i think it might have rained a little bit because everything looks wet it did not rain where i was working so i came home and i was a little surprised to see the ground and everything still damp so we're going to come out here today and do a little check on the garden do some weeding I'm just looking around let me show you what I see so here's the garden you can see that my bags are overrun with weeds some of the beds are overrun with weeds I've let them go a little bit well a lot actually because uh, it's been raining we've had some bad weather you can see most likely this is deer that have gotten to my tomatoes and eaten the leaves from the tops of the tomatoes. So the deer have come and done some heading on my tomato plants for me. Uh, I didn't want them this short, but that's okay. I'll get down here and trim out some of these bottom leaves that are touching the ground. <sighs> Let's see what else they got to. Did they get to my corn? Uh, doesn't look like it, but we got some squash coming in, if you can see through this corn over there. That is my very first squash. I've never grown that before. I'm very excited about that. Very, very excited about that. So I'm gonna come in here and prune some of these leaves back. Looks like we've got quite a bit more squash coming in. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. My corn stalks look quite thin. Quite thin. I did a lot better last time I grew corn. And, uh, you know, I'll just keep trying. Let's come over here. This is the cilantro slash coolantro. And, I mean, it's coming up. It's not looking as good as I would like. <clears throat> forgot what was in this bed because I didn't label everything and in here we have corn again and again the corn's not growing as well as I think it should be but that's okay my cilantro here has just completely gone to waste flowered everything my thyme is still okay the parsley it looks a little spotty Tell me what you think or what I need to do. I can tell, you know, that's been harvested off of, but that's fine. We've got some pepper plants that took a while to come up. I think they're still thin as well, not looking as good as I would want them to look. Kale came back. We've got these beets here. And I think... This is a weed, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. I'll take a picture of it with my app that tells me what plants they are. You know, we've got some carrots. I'm gonna to try to see what these carrots look like. I'm gonna just pluck one out today. And we got our chives. So I'm gonna get in here and go to work today and uh, let's do some weeding. All right, so we're gonna get in here and start doing some weeding on some of these grow bags. This one has the least amount of weed. That actually doesn't look like a weed right there. So I'm gonna bypass that and come for this guy here. I don't even like the way my soil looks. I guess I'm just spoiled. I had such excellent spoil, excellent uh, soil last year. I don't think anything in here is growing the way I think it should be growing. I think everything looks light green as opposed to dark green. So if you have any ideas or suggestions on what I can do to put some life and color back into these beds, then let me know. Uh, I think at this point, all I'm gonna do is uh, 
go out and get some plant food. Try to get some uh, good quality compost because we haven't finished making our compost yet. But, you know, things are coming along. It's just slower than I thought. I uh, haven't really done anything to protect against bugs or critters. Like you saw, the deer topped my corn. But it's okay. We're just growing in this here area for the first time. And we have a lot to learn. We haven't put up any fencing yet. So I'm not going to cry about something that gets eaten when I haven't taken the time to properly Learning. protect it. And in the future, I know to use a higher quality soil. You know, I was reading and researching and trying to understand what some of the people believe that the forest soil is free compost and the best soil and you know but that's not been my experience so far i have to say maybe i'm doing something wrong but that has not been my experience but again i don't rule out the fact that it could be me and not the soil maybe it's something else that i need to do to the soil Maybe I need to amend the soil, work in some good nu nutrients to the soil. And immediately I've been pretty neglectful of these bags and the grow beds as well. Pretty neglectful because I've been more focused on, you know, other things like clearing the land, cutting grass, which is about time to cut that grass again, cutting the grass and, you know, cutting down trees and having all funds with the archery and the fishing and getting prepared for hunting season and, you know, shooting competitions with the bow and arrow. But that is the purpose, to be able to do all of that and still run the farmstead. That is the purpose, to be able to live a certain lifestyle the freedom to do the things that you want to do, the things that you love, while growing your own food and trying to be as self-sufficient as possible. That's the goal. So in preparation for that, you're going to take some losses and you're going to have to learn. Or I should say, I'm going to have to take some losses and I'm going to have to learn. Okay, we can see this plant here. You can see we got some okra. I should actually harvest that because it's about three inches. And once it gets beyond that, it's not gonna taste good. So see, I've got one nice piece of okra. And I got another one coming in over there. I see two more coming in over there, actually. Another one here. So we'll be getting some okra. Oh, the beginnings of an eggplant. You see? There's the beginnings of that egg, first eggplant right there. That is my first time growing eggplant. I've got some squash. Man, I'm excited. But you can see that this bed has also been uh, getting filled with weeds, even though I had the wood chips down, some weeds are still getting through, like this tall grass is still coming through. And these plants were attacked by insects. So we live and we learn, but we're gonna do what we're gonna do and we're gonna keep getting better. Okay. Now over to the next bed here. <clears throat> Let's look at our tomato plants that the deer have been eating. I'm gonna cut off some of these dying stems. Actually with your tomato plants, you should clear the bottom from about 12 inches or so. 
and let your vines breathe. And you don't want your leaves touching the ground. Help protect against rot. Let's see, we've got some suckers in here. I'll take out one or two I'll of those. Keep the soil moist. All right, nice tomatoes coming in. A nice bunch right here. Another little one, got some flowers coming in. Another set right here, looking pretty good. So this plant seems to be doing the best. Hopefully what I just did will uh, free up some energy. All right, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get this squash before something else gets to it. Yes. Look at that. My first squash. It's a thing of beauty. And I see quite a few more coming in there. Now, I've really gotta go and look again on how to prune the squash, but I'm pretty sure all these overlapping leaves need to go so that this thing can breathe all right i have so many of these corn i just want to see what one looks like let me see i'll just pick this one here let's see what we got a little baby corn not ready yet I knew they weren't ready. This leaves are way too short. They should be much taller. And I didn't anticipate them being ready until mid, or should say late August anyway. So we'll come back, but that's fine. I just wanted to see, I was curious. Same with the beets, I'm very curious. I don't see any uh, beets popping out yet. Actually, I do see some right there. Pretty small for now but they'll keep growing and I'll be planting some more. I see my beets. Yes, I do see beets. Good. Y'all don't laugh at the beginner, but here's today's harvest. We got a nice squash, one okra, one baby carrot. There you go. All right, so that's it folks for the maintenance phase of today. Some gardening maintenance some weeding did pretty good i didn't get bit up too much by the mosquitoes i think the worst was harvesting and pruning the squash where i got stuck by a couple of thorns um but overall good harvest good fun like i said beginner so your advice and your comments are welcome and we're just here to learn as i learn we all go and learn and whoever can contribute feel free to do so and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe from simple way farmstead peace